What's going on? I'm Sam. It's Thanksgiving and I have a couple things to do today. I'm going to start off by selling this switch and getting a few bucks for that. I've already had two people today now blow me off for that switch. The last person just didn't meet up. I ended up going to lunch with a buddy and it was pretty cool hanging out with them. I'm at my shop now to work on this computer for a second before I go meet up with a third person who hopefully will buy this switch. Yesterday I was able to get the right hard drive adapter for this computer. I'm installing the installation ISO on a flash drive right now because my laptop doesn't have a DVD burner. I'll be able to burn the DVD on this computer. But for now, I ended up getting this solid state into this adapter, which is the right one because it's a direct hard drive replacement. And I just need to install this in the computer before I'm able to install Windows 8. And now I should be able to install this hard drive right. And I'm so confident about this that I am now gonna close it up once again. So everything's transferred to this flash drive. Now I just need to burn the ISO to this DVD. I keep running into problems. Now I don't have Net Framework 2.0, so I'm trying to install that real quick. But I gotta go sell the switch. I'll figure it out when I come back. And I'm back. So I didn't actually buy this switch to flip it, even though I did make a little bit of cash. What happened was it was the Black Friday special and I found it available before it was actually released and I jumped on it without really thinking about it. I don't need a switch. I don't need to spend money right now. So instead of returning it, I did sell it to make a couple bucks, but that's done now and I got to get back to fixing this computer. If it was Windows 10, it would have been done by now. It's been so long since I messed with Windows 8 or Windows 7 even that it's taking me a minute because I don't have any installation media set up. I'm thinking I'll have this done in about 10 minutes, but you know, I might run into more problems because I usually do. So I finally got this disc burning. All I had to do was enable Net Framework and then apparently my Windows had to update after crashing and blue screening of death. It has only been like 10 or 15 minutes. A lot's gone on in that time. But I'm now finally burning this bootable DVD, so I should be able to finish this computer and get it out of here because I am frankly tired of having it so long and spending so much time and energy on it. I am not charging them enough money. When I do that, it's very bad because I always think, oh, I'm going to try and charge them the least money possible but then I'm not actually happy with the amount of money that I'm making, which means it takes me longer or I don't work as hard on it. And when that happens, the customer is not happy too. And I have this really bad habit of not charging enough money and it's a vicious cycle. I'm trying to get better at that. I definitely did not do that for this computer. Maybe I've learned my lesson, but I'm sure I'm gonna do it again. It was a pretty good refresher though, cause I haven't had to set prices for a while. And this reminded me, make sure you charge what you're worth. I did not do that for this. The other lesson I'm slowly beginning to finally learn is it's okay to say no to things. I usually say yes to anyone that needs help, but I heard this from someone else. It only, it's okay to say no to someone as long as you say, yes when it really matters i really like that quote and i'm trying to learn i don't have to say yes every time someone asks for my help even though i feel like that's the right thing to do at this point i really need to learn how to help myself because i really have put myself in an awful position financially anyway this disc is almost ready and i should be able to put windows 8 on this computer and it's done Wait, that's not Windows 8. Well, it looks like I couldn't get Windows 8 to work. I have no idea why. It would not read any sort of installation media, CD or USB. It would not read a Windows 8 hard drive, but it did read the Windows 10 hard drive. So I just installed Windows 10 on this hard drive. I have a few updates to do, and this is the best I'm going to be able to get this thing. The only boot installation it seemed to be looking for was a ethernet connection and I have no idea how to install Windows over an ethernet connection. 
So I just gave up at that point, and it's going to be a Windows 10 PC for them. It's checking for updates now, and the really nice thing, the thing I was most worried about, is it did get the product key and it is activated. I did not want to give them an unactivated version of Windows. The activation key for Windows on these all-in-ones, and I think all newer computers, are kind of built into the motherboard. I was kind of worried, since it was a Windows 8, that it might not see the key correctly and activate right. It did. So after these updates, I'm going to be done with this computer and it's ready to give back to them. But it is getting late and it is Thanksgiving, so I need to get home so I can have a Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm just going to head back and enjoy the dinner. I might have to come back to the shop after that to get some more stuff done though because I only messed with this computer and I spent way too long on it. So I ended up going home and having an amazing Thanksgiving dinner. Our family had canceled their plans so it was just Morgan and me, but my mom had dropped off a ton of food from Bob Evans. So we had food for days and it was really awesome. So I ended up just hanging out at home all night with Morgan and the dogs. It was a really good time and a lot of fun. But that's the end of this video, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Griffin, do you like your turkey toy? Do you like that? What is it? Hey guys, I'm home. Look at you. So excited.